In the previous videos, we studied variables and strings, and we run our code inside the Python interpreter. And let's now see this code in action inside the file. I have created inside Visual Studio Code um, two files in my project folder, uh, this variable file.pi and the file called strings.pi, where I copied the code that we wrote before. So if I open the variable file, we got this variable that we defined. And as you see inside the IDE, these are invalid string and invalid variables and the IDE is uh, intelligent enough to tell you that this is not allowed and you cannot do that, these are not valid. And so you can immediately correct yourself. In here, instead, we got three valid variables and no problem so far. And then uh, we, I copied the same code that we wrote before uh, for the strings. In here, there, were, there are no problems and all looks fine. But if we uh, try to use the code runner and we press this run code icon, we will see that nothing happens. except that we got this error for the um, item assignment uh, on this line 30, which is this one, because as I said, this is not allowed. So we can comment it out. You can uh, pause the video and copy the content of the file if you want um, to have the same thing that I have. And if we try to run the code now, we will see that we got just nothing as a result. Mm, that's because I am going to introduce uh, a new concept, which is a function used in Python to generate an output uh, from a script. So to see the result of any of these um, variable, we need to use the print function and to and put inside it uh, a string or a number that we will see in a minute or uh, a, um, a variable where it stored our content. So in this case, I want to see the content of the name variable. I type the name variable in here and I run the code again and you will see that on this line I got Fabio. If I do uh, the same thing with the variable sentence, you will see that I got the, the whole sentence, Fabio is a developer. And the same thing will be true if I type in here a, a string as it is, this is a string, and we run the code, we will get the string sentence. So from now on, I will move uh, between using uh, the interpreter and using the file. Uh, so you know how to uh, do both. So let's go back to the interpreter and let's talk about numbers. Um, so numbers, are uh, what the sound are just numbers in python uh, like also in math we have two types of numbers integer and floats which are um, this is an integer or is and this is a float so numbers with the decimal point uh, with decimals are float numbers floating point numbers while um, these are integers. We can uh, do a number of operations like in math uh, with numbers and perform calculations. So from now I will uh, create now a new file and call it numbers. So here I will um, start writing uh, numbers uh, operations so we have uh, with numbers we can do some sums 
and like and plain math we use in this case print so we can see the results so 5 plus 2 and we can execute the code and we will see that we got 7 and we can do other than that we can do subtractions and again inside the print function we do uh, 5 minus 2 but we can also do uh, multiplications and divisions so uh, 5 by, uh, by 2 and inside the print state print function and the uh, division And we can do 10 by divided by 2. Okay, if we run the code now, we got these three, four results. So 7, which is uh, 5 plus 2. Uh, we got 3, which is 5 minus 2. And then 10 and 5, which are 5 by 2 and 10 divided by 2. Inside the interpreter instead, we don't need to use the print function and we can just do uh, mathematical operations as they are so 5 plus 2 is 7 5 minus 3 is 2 uh, 5 by 3 is 15 and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 um, so there are all the, also other uh, um, operations that we can do. So exponent, exponent. So if we use the um, double star, so these uh, we will get the exponent of a number. If we do it is the modulo 16 module 4 again inside the print function in the file otherwise we won't get anything and then we have the floor division and we do it by using the twice the, divide, the division sign so it's the forward slash and again inside the print function and here you will get this result so from this line we got 25 which is um, this line of code and then we got uh, 16 module 4 which gives us a result zero because um, there is no reminder uh, from the division uh, 16 by 4 we got it four times and no reminders if we do it uh, 17 if we do it like that we got one as a result because um, four inside the 16 there is four four time and then we we have one as a reminder in case we do it the same with 17 and then in the last line we got the floor division which gives us seven and that means if we do the basic division we will get a floating point number not in the in python 2 but that will happen in python 3 i'll show you what i mean in a minute so that's 15 divided by 2 it's 7.5 instead in python 2 it returns uh, always the only the first number 
um, so exclu excluding the additional points um, because in here I'm using as default the Python uh, 2 um, version so if I want to use yeah, I, I am running this inside um, Windows subsystem Linux so I will put the shebang line in here to tell to tell the uh, software that I want to use the version um, of Python number three okay in this way if I run again the code I will get okay yes that's wrong okay that's how we write the shebang okay now you see that the running the code gives me uh, 7.5 if I use this uh, division the standard division but if I add one more forward stretch I do the floor division which returns only the um, number excluding the decimal point so let's save the file and run the code again and I got 7 so uh, like in math uh, operations inside parentheses take precedence over anything else uh, then we have the exponent multiplication division module uh, floor divisions and finally addition and subtraction so if we if you want to do more complex um, arithmetical operations uh, you have to remember that there is a precedence next we will see a another uh, basic data type in python which are booleans uh, a boolean is a value that can be either true or false let's create a new file in here and let's okay uh, so a boolean is either a true or a false value uh, which means i can assign it to a variable okay or is save and these are both booleans uh, if i print the results of uh, the variable and i can print more than one result uh, simply divide, uh, separating each um, element with a comma inside the print uh, function so it's save i will get as a result true and false this uh, concept will be useful later when we study uh, conditionals uh, because this will help us to um, uh, take decisions inside our code and make our uh, program behave in a way or in another depending on a result of a boolean uh, that's it for this video next one we will see uh, lists